Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, perimeter is uh, 120 units, whereas uh, its hypotenuse uh, AC51. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And we know that our AB is uh, our height and uh, BC is the base. So therefore we must uh, find the value of this height and this uh, base. And now we know that the perimeter of this uh, given uh, triangle is uh, 120. In other words, if I call this uh, side uh, X, this side Y, and this side uh, Z, then uh, the perimeter means that X plus Y plus uh, Z length uh, is going to be 120. And we know our uh, Z length uh, is uh, 51. So therefore I can replace X plus Y plus 51 equals to 120. Let's subtract 51 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore our X plus Y value turns out to be 69. Let's move X on the other side. So therefore uh, Y turns out to be equal to 69 minus x. So therefore I'm going to replace this y by 69 minus uh, x. So thus the side length uh, of uh, this uh, triangle turns out to be 51 x uh, and 69 minus x. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call the longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. Let's fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 69 minus x uh, whole square plus b is x. So this become x square equal to c is uh, 51 whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial. So therefore it's going to give us uh, 47, 61 minus 138x plus uh, x square and then uh, plus uh, once again x uh, square this one and then uh, equal to 51 square is uh, 2601. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. That's going to give us uh, 2x square minus 138x plus uh, 4761 equal to 2601. Let's subtract uh, 2601 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore we got uh, 2x uh, square minus uh, 138 uh, x plus uh, 2160 equal to 0. And now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board. So I am going to divide each and every term uh, by 2 to make things uh, simple. So that is going to give us uh, x square minus uh, 69 uh, x plus uh, 1080 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping uh, and uh, factoring. So therefore let's focus on this uh, constant uh, 1080. Let me just write it down uh, over here. Let me go ahead and find the feasible factors uh, of 1080. I can write this thing as 108 uh, and uh, 10. Once again uh, this uh, could be written as 10 could be written as uh, 2 times uh, 5 and 108 could be broken down to 
9 times uh, 12 and now we can see 2 times uh, 12 is going to give us uh, 24 and 9 times 5 is uh, 45 and if we add uh, these uh, two numbers uh, 24 and uh, 45 that is going to give us uh, 69 so therefore we can tweak this uh, middle term negative 69 x could be written as uh, negative uh, 24 x minus uh, 45 x so therefore we can write uh, x square minus uh, 24 x minus uh, 45 x plus uh, 10 80 equals to 0 and now we can see x is in common uh, over here the first two terms uh, and here uh, 45 uh, is in common so therefore I can factor out uh, x uh, outside we got x uh, minus uh, 24 and then I'm gonna factor out uh, negative 45 so we ended up with the uh, x uh, minus uh, 24 uh, equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 24 and x minus 24 is in common so therefore I can write uh, x minus uh, 24 times uh, x minus uh, 45 equal to 0 let's separate these two factors I can write uh, x minus uh, 24 equal to 0 and the other x minus uh, 45 equal to 0 for this first equation x turns out to be positive 24 units for this second equation x turns out to be positive 45 units so therefore if I pick this uh, x equal to 24 value over here and replace it uh, by 24 over here then this side length is going to be 69 minus 24 equals to 45 and if we pick uh, x equal to 45 then this is going to be 45 side length uh, and this other side length uh, is going to be 69 minus 45 is going to give us uh, 24 so therefore we can see that both of these uh, scenarios are feasible and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equal to a half times uh, base uh, times height and here our uh, height uh, is uh, 24 and our base is uh, 45 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, so area turns out to be equal to a half times uh, 45 times uh, 24 and if we multiply and simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 540 and if we let uh, this side uh, 24 and this side uh, 45 still we are going to have exactly same uh, answer it doesn't make any difference uh, whatsoever so thus the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 540 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye